before you go into hypnosis. Just sit back, relax and make yourself comfortable. Nobody wants anything, nobody needs anything. So just sit back and relax. By beginning to let your whole body go loose, limp and floppy. And as that happens, allow your eyelids to close. Noticing that more of your awareness is on the sound of my voice and each word you hear. Now, there's no need to listen consciously as your unconscious will listen for you. As you relax more and more, all sounds inside and out, bringing you deeper and deeper. Your conscious mind can listen in or drift to any thought. And as that happens, Notice each thought leads to another thought as you breathe, each breath out bringing you deeper and deeper and even deeper. And as you continue to do that, just notice how you can relax the smallest muscles, those muscles in your eyelids, tiny muscles in your eyelids relaxing, relaxing so much so that if you were to try and open those eyes you would find it difficult. But somehow that doesn't really matter. As you go deeper and deeper into this special relaxed state known as hypnosis. That's it. And as that continues you begin to move that special quality of relaxation to the muscles of your forehead smoothing out the muscles as you move that relaxation up over the top of your head and before moving on down into the muscles of the neck Relaxing each muscle on the top of the head where the roots of each hair stands. More and more aware of those familiar feelings of relaxation as the muscles that support your heavy head relax. Neck muscles relaxing as you go deeper and deeper. And the deeper you go, the better you feel. And the better you feel, the deeper you go. That's it. Deeper and deeper, becoming aware of sensations in your body. There may be a warmth or perhaps a coolness or even a tingling sensation, just as a physical sign that hypnosis has begun to happen. But I don't want you to go all the way down into a deep hypnotic trance until that relaxation 
has spread from the top of your head all the way down to your toes. That's it. And as that happens, notice how the comfort spreads into those shoulders. Will that relaxation into the right shoulder or the left shoulder first? Or maybe they will relax equally. I don't know. Very good. That relaxation spreading down through those arms. Down through those arms to those hands. And all the way to those fingertips. Just notice the difference in those fingertips. As those special sensations spread. Moving down the spine, chest and belly, through the hips, down, down, deeper and deeper, and even deeper still, those arms feel heavy, relaxed and heavy. As you breathe out, going even deeper, relaxation spreading into your thighs there, spreading into those thighs, that's it, and on down the calves and into those ankles and feet, all the way down from the top of your head to the tips of your toes and as that continues to happen perhaps the big toe on the right foot feels a little different to the left or maybe the little toe on the left foot there is different to the little toe here Perhaps all toes are relaxed equally as you enjoy this special relaxation that is your experience of hypnosis where you make the changes that are right for you accepting suggestions that are right for you and there's no need to resist as you can reject any suggestion only accepting those changes that are right and proper for you and as you are so relaxed you can just let your thoughts drift because just for the moment it doesn't matter one bit if my voice fades into the background or if you don't hear a word I say that's it and if you hear every word I say that's good too but it won't make any difference to the way that you respond to what I am saying because you are going to access that amazing power of your own conscious mind rather than talk to the conscious mind and it's of no importance whatsoever if your conscious mind hears what I say or doesn't hear what I say so you can just allow yourself to drift in your own thoughts to wherever you want to drift That unconscious mind of yours is immensely powerful. It can only work with what there is to work with. 
and this means that if you want to have the best health and the longest life that you possibly can you might need to make certain changes in your life because the body and mind work best when the body and mind are allowed to do what the body and mind are designed to do it's a natural state for our body to be physically fit for millions of years our ancestors had to work with their bodies simply to survive so it's a very natural thing to be physically fit and because it's a natural thing it's actually quite easy to achieve and once it's achieved it's even easier to maintain because it's the way that we're designed to be and when we are physically fit we are using our mind the right way so we can improve our physical health and enjoy life so by exercising to keep a fit body you will need to eat the right foods to allow your body to remain fit and both those things are actually very easy to do you're going to find an urge a compulsion to discover all that you can discover about exercise nutrition and fitness to discover what works for you best it's different for everybody and only you can know exactly what works for you and you're going to find an urge a compulsion to put in place those elements that you know about so well elements that will allow you to achieve the best your body can achieve making changes where you need to make them and you probably already know where those changes are and you can decide that you will begin to make those changes right now in your mind and of course some people wonder why on earth anybody would want to exercise some people it looks too much like hard work to them and that gives them a good excuse not to do it they really don't want to see those who make it look easy and enjoyable the ones who are glowing with health and vitality and as a result only of their exercise regime and healthy eating those who enjoy life so completely they make it look as if life was designed around them for those people exercise is enjoyable invigorating and uplifting because exercise generates natural feeling good hormones pheromones so it leaves you feeling alive and energetic but exercise and nutrition is only one part of what is needed to provide the healthiest and longest life possible because research has shown us that the most important thing is optimism optimism and a truly positive mental attitude to life and living you can begin an enormously important task right at this very moment and you can make it simple right at this very moment that you will change all the things you can change and want to change and when you discover there's something that has to stay the same then you will simply accept those things in your life with joy with a willing acceptance of their value so that you can begin to discover the value of those things the way they can enhance your life your way of being you can make a simple decision 
right at this very moment that will change all the things you can change and want to change and when you discover that there is something that has to stay the same then you will simply accept those things in your life with joy with a willing acceptance of their value so that you can begin to discover the value of those things the way they can enhance your life your way of being and because of all the things that used to upset you you will now simply calm and relax you and the more they could previously upset you then the more they will just now simply calm and relax you so that all the things that used to be difficult for you to deal with become so easy and you will find yourself wondering why they ever seemed to be a problem in the first place all the things that used to upset you will now just simply calm and relax you and the more they could previously upset you then the more they will now simply calm and simply relax you so that all the things that used to be difficult for you to deal with become so easy to you now that you find yourself being an inspiration to others and that feels good that always feels good it's only necessary for that powerful unconscious mind to accept that this is what you truly wish to happen and it will steadily lead you towards these goals that powerful unconscious mind of yours can lead you to these goals as long as you allow yourself to really want those things to happen to allow yourself at this very moment to really want those things to happen because when you allow yourself at this very moment to really want those things to happen that's the way to program your unconscious mind to achieve the very best it can for you and I would like to thank your unconscious mind for looking after you and accepting any positive suggestions that you receive with my words and I wonder if you can let your mind drift forwards through time now to a time when you are remembering the choices you have found now and the changes you made to your life drifting forward in time when you can see yourself looking fit and healthy looking positive and radiant looking as if you truly enjoy life and living make it truly vivid in your mind see yourself absolutely glowing with health and radiant energy the perfect example of what the healthy mind and body can achieve there's a vibrance about you an optimism for the future and it is clearly evident for all to see that here is a person who thinks about what they really want rather than thinking about what they fear. A person who thinks about the way they actually want things to be rather than the way they fear others will see. A person who is getting the best out of life. A person who is enjoying the healthiest and longest life that they can achieve. And you'll find yourself taking a huge amount of pride and pleasure in your new healthier lifestyle. A huge amount of pride and pleasure in the absolute ease, absolute ease, absolute ease at which you actually maintain that healthier lifestyle. Healthier lifestyle. Healthier lifestyle.
now and far into the future. That's right. And when you are ready to begin making these changes, bring all your energy back into your body and full awareness back to the place where you relax. Back to the place where you are so relaxed now, bringing all your energy back into your body and full awareness. Feeling really good after making new choices. Coming back to the room in your own way, in your own time. 